Hello everyone and welcome to Frogmaster's vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Game Workshop based in the UK and welcome to my first game review of this vlog so this is kind of a new thing for me today I'm going to be reviewing the smartphone and tablet game called The Horus Heresy Drop Assault which were developed by Com Complex Games in, the, in association with Games Workshop and published by Cruise it's the first digital game to be set in the Horus Heresy era. I should point out that I'm not a professional video game reviewer, so take my words with a grain of salt. I just wanted to give my whole uh, opinion about the game, in particular, and then you can see if it's worth your while to actually watch it. My first overall, overall impression of the game is that they really have tried to stay true to the source material, with, uh, with all between the characters and how they look and act over to the fluff and background uh, background lore. It takes place shortly after the act of betrayal is unleashed on Istvan 3 and you follow either the loyalist fractions from the four tr first traitor legions under the command of Saul Tarbitz from the Emperor Children's Legion or you follow the, the traitor's side under the command of Angron, Primarch of the World Leaders Legion. Let's dive in and see what this game is all about. Already in the intro credits, uh, credits we can see that it's a very, very detailed game. Even though the animation is somewhat, uh, I would almost say Asian-like, like manga. I actually like it. Uh, my, my only problem would perhaps be that the faces look a bit too immature or shy, this, like Angron here, for example. Uh, but they have been very faithful to the, been very faithful to the, the lore, and they have been faithful to uh, Forge World and their models, and most in particular. Now we're gonna see here the big map where you f do all the fighting. I think it's on Istvan 3. You get a home base of your own where you can build base, uh, build your base. You can build, okay, erupt buildings. You can collect resources and build an army of your own. As you can see, I've chosen the Emperor Children on the traitor side, most particularly because I like the Emperor Children, but and and also Fulgrim in particular. You can upgrade your buildings, uh, which cost energy and and resources as you can see up here and you collect them either from um, a power uh, power supply or uh, when you are conquering in battle there are several uh, things you can collect inside the game as you can see right here in front of you i'm gonna go into detail and talk about them in particular uh, one and one in the, at a time uh, first you can collect victory points, uh, which is the skull on the left side, which you get every time you cr uh, cr finish a bonus objective on a um, fight. Like for instance, taking out all the turrets or uh, losing, uh, not doing any casualties or stuff like that. Uh, after that you can also collect energy source. I'm not sure if that's the correct term for it all, but uh, that's what I call it. Then it's uh, simple supplies and tech and tech parts as you see here on the right side. Uh, those can be used then to upgrade your your troops. Like uh, for instance, as you can see here, you can have regular keys, regular space marines, terminators, havocs, and you can have uh, several uh, several vehicles, both flying and land based. I haven't gotten that far in my gaming so far. Uh, but after that you can also check out the, the minimap where you can collect more resources. And you have several key key points where you do the, the constant fighting with the enemy. You select one of these and you can either do a recon where you check out if it's worth attacking or you can attack directly if you want to. Just when you go into um, combat, you can check out, uh, check out the attack zone. You can see what kind of uh, uh, opposition you will, or you will be facing and what kind of uh, things you have at your disposal. You can also check out your bonus objectives and what kind of rewards you get from it. Uh, then you do attack. 
you show a uh, attack approach. I usually do the this uh, orbital bombardment on the turrets, so they are less of a problem later on in the gaming. Then you deploy your troops. Uh, I usually try to get them so you, you attack. The more you destroy, the more uh, energy you can spend on doing some attacks, like for instance the orbital bombardment. Attacking from several fronts. It's actually a quite a fun game to use on your iPad, most particularly I think the, I the iPhone is a bit too small for it all. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very highly detailed game, it's, it's particularly for a single, for a, just a, a tablet game. And they have been faithful to the lore, there's just a few things they could have worked out, in particular there's one instance when uh, Angron says that he's doing the job of the gods and Istvan free is long before he has been corrupted by the forces of chaos even though he was always destined to be the son of the uh, blood god. Uh, after a victory you see what you have acquired from the, from the, from the battle and then you more or less you return to the home page or the or the main map and you can start over or continue with something else. That's more or less everything I had for this uh, game review and hopefully it's been interesting for you to guide people to watch. Um, yeah, not sure more what to say about it all. Uh, yeah, there's also achievements um, attached to the gaming for things you uh, managed to, to do. There's uh, progress bars, or whatever, how many things you capture, or battles, and stuff like that. So yeah, th uh, with that said, thank you very much for watching this game review. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good to so keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad when I need to improve or the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this game review. Death to the False Emperor! Bye!